Hello YouTube and Daily Motion and Facebook and Tumblr and wherever you're following me because I have so many different website mediums now it's hard to keep track of. I am Midnight Strike 3625 and I am going to be reviewing something very special, my first PS4 game review. Obviously for the PlayStation 4 Sony console with the nice blue trimming right here and I have a text that I am going to wait to answer because I am really hyper off coffee right now. So Perfect time to do a review. Basically, this is Need for Speed's online entry into the series because it focuses on online. It is very online-centric. You choose your car and you go. There is a focus on this game about rivals and knowing your rivals, so you can choose either between cops or racers, and you can choose, you know, swap back and forth anytime you want. Basically, this takes place in an open world of Redview County, and you can go wherever you want, whenever you want, and you don't even need to play it online. But however, if you don't play this game online, it's not going to be as fun as if you were playing online with real people because it just amps up the challenge and the excitement of winning a race against real people. It's just amazing. Also, real people can be cops, they can be chasing you, and you have a variety of things that you can select, such as power-ups, such as different things to stop the vehicles, stop the racers, um, per se, and... Things like, you know, helicopters, spikes, trips, roadblocks, and the like. And the way you bust racers in this game is you slam into them and try to destroy their vehicle and cripple them before they get to a gas station, which is their weird way of saying this This is where you repair your vehicle. For some reason, all you have to do is run through a gas station. There you go. Your vehicle's done. It's, da it's not damaged anymore. It just says vehicle repaired. So basically... If you're a cop, you're trying to bust them before that time, and it's really invigorating, really exciting, and as far as the cars go, though, the handling is just superb on every level. You can even increase the handling back and forth on whether or not you want it, you know, looser or tighter with the upgrade system that it has, which is really interesting because when you go out into the open world, you compete in various races, various time trials, and the like to gain speed points if you're a racer. And you can spend speed points on various cars, various upgrades that you've unlocked, and the like. And how you upgrade cars, or how you buy and procure cars, is by completing objectives on a certain speed list. So, say a speed list has a certain set number of objectives, like scale this many, you know, scale this many jumps, or you know, bronze any metal, silver this, or pursuit tech any car, hit a car with a pursuit technology, which I will get into a bit later, but these are a set number of objectives that once you complete a speed list or a speed roster or a set of assignments, if you're a cop, you get cars unlocked. Cops, however, get car cars for free because, you know, it's just part of the assignment and you get rewarded for it with a car for free. However, that's not to say that cops are broken, mind you, because they are a bit slower than your average racer with things like turbo and nitrous. And one thing should be said, though, is that the cops actually do procure nitrous and regenerate their nitrous meter a lot faster. And in order to regenerate your nitrous meter as a racer, you have to be driving above 80 in an oncoming lane. So it's really easy to procure nitrous in this game and just... I love the seamless transition between just driving around in an open world to racing. All you have to do is press the L1 button and wait for the other player to reply, to respond. And if it's not another player that is like an actual like, real player, if it's just an AI, it'll just in, in, ugh, initiate the race right then and there. It's awesome because all you do is press L1 race. There you go. I love it. It's a seamless transition. No load screens, no nothing. It's just awesome. I mean, I don't know why they didn't think of this before. It's just, it's very unique. I've never seen anything like it. It's like blending online games, online gaming with a normal racer and just procuring it seamlessly. I mean, I just, I don't know why I didn't, or why people haven't come up with this before, but I haven't seen it before at least, but when it comes to racers, I am no stranger. I've played two other Need for Speed games before. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2, I grew up with it, and Need for Speed Underground, which I discovered through my girlfriend. She absolutely loves that game. So, you know, I bought it 
for like a buck ninety five for PS two, decided you know hey you know she likes racing games so why not give it a try? I actually really like that game. One thing that I can say bad about this game though is the lack of customization options. Really, all you can do is spray paint your car, change the rims around, and just little things like that. I mean, you can change whatever you want on your license plate numbers, and some of your license plate options include such um, cities from older Need for Speed games, but when it comes to the actual customization, you can't really do much. You can't really, like, add any extra features to your car, extra turbo. Well, you can do that, but you can't add, like, extra exhaust pipes or, you know, work on your engine a little bit or anything like that, but all you can really do is change the paint, the color, and add a few decals here and there. So with customization, you don't really have very much many options, and when it comes to the actual races and the actual exploring, it's mostly online-centric, so there is no pause button a la Dark Souls. Like, there was no pause button on that game either, but that just made it <laughs> seem like one of the more hard, harder RPGs. So when it comes down to it, this game is really good. I would suggest it to anyone on PS4 or even PS3. It actually came out for PS3 and 360 today. So if you have one of those one of those uh, consoles, go out and get this game. It's awesome. I'm going to give it probably a 9.5 out of 10 because while it does have its flaws, it was really fun. I really like all the variations of cars. I love the handling and just how fast, just the sheer feel of activating turbo and just different pursuit technology, which you can activate to either um, eliminate a racer in your path who is ahead of you or get away from the cops. It's all a matter of strategic elements. It's all a matter of strategy, how you choose to use the pursuit tech, how you choose to use the remaining nitrous that you have. It's just awesome. So 9.5 out of 10. This is Midnight Strike 3625. Hope to see you on the servers. Keep calm and rock on.